Hi everyone, I'm back. Actually, I never left. <laughs> okay, here's the flip through of the second little green book that I made. Uh, this one has kind of a burnt orange, sorry, silk closure. And this I made from a book, it's called The Book of Toasts. It's a 1906 book. I reinforced the spine and added some lace and linen around the spine. And then the back has just this wonderful patina. I love that. So as we go through this one, I on the inside covers, I use copies of some old love letters that I have. Um, it's They're really interesting. They're from 1926. It was a year-long courtship between Felix and Adeline. And there are just some really sweet letters in there. So I thought I'd use some of those in some of the journals that I make. In this journal, I used, again, a couple of, um, probably two or three kits of Rachel from Roxy Creation. Most of the signature covers, I used um, papers from, I think it was called Pink and Mint or Mint and Pink, something like that. Um, some real pretty wallpapers and things in there. On this page, I added a little lace trim and a stamp. I've used botanical pages throughout the book or the journal. Here I created a seed packet and in there I altered a playing card. Here I created a crisscross pocket and in there I have a journaling card. And on the back, I created a belly band and it holds a couple of tea cards. This is some coffee dyed paper of mine that I made. On this page, I clipped in something from my ephemeral collection. It's actually a, a wedding invitation, a very simple one. I added the little trim on here, but um, inside it's an invitation. Mr. and Mrs. E. N. Staub request your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Emma Margaret. Very simple, straightforward from 1923. What I thought was really interesting was this was sent only a few days, according to the postmark, before the wedding, so I don't know if that was typical back then or not. On this page, I created a belly band from some sari trim. And then here I've got a couple of photos, Mima. This is not an original photo, it's um, a collage sheet that I had. And then I backed it with a, a wallpaper digital. And then this is an original photo for my collection, probably another Mima on there. Here I created a little pocket from the sampler kit of Rachel's. And this is a fragment from the book, one of the book pages, and I just did a little stamping on there. And then this is a flash card. In the center of the signature, I created um, this fold out from a botanical book page and punched the edges of that. And when you fold it out, there are pockets all along here. And I created some journaling cards, places to write on the back. This is an old book page and another journaling card. Here I created a journaling card and backed it with some vintage wallpaper digital. Here I have a side tuck, um, and then I created this tag. It's actually beeswaxed um, cards, or not cardstock, but like a craft paper. On this page, I again did some stitching along the edge. I just did a real loose blanket stitch. It's got kind of a primitive, loopy look to it. On this page, I created a belly band and hung over that journaling spot. 
from Vintage Music Paper. And this is actually um, a button card from a kit that I have in my Etsy store. And I like to go back to that time and again. Um, they just make really nice, you know, tuck spots or pockets and things like that. Here I just added a paper ruffle along the side of the page. And this is a little side tuck um, using a doily. Here I did a little collaging on this beautiful wallpaper. Up here I created a cluster with some paper and fabric and added one of those little um, labels from Artie Mays. On this page, I have a journaling card that goes up and over the page, and then inside there are places to journal. Some wildflower book pages that are actually not original to this book, but they fit nicely. Here I created a flip out and did some decorative stitching on there. On this page, I just love this um, nice aqua or turquoise. Here I did um, some embossing on cardstock, inked it up and created a pocket and then just tucked in a little journaling card there. Corner tuck with another journaling card. This is an original book page from this book, and I love the colors in that. The paper in the book um, was very brittle and, and fragile. So what I did was I treated it with a coat of clear gesso and then went over that with um, matte medium gel. And the pages came out really supple and easy to work with, and I think they're sealed really nicely. So I definitely will try that technique again if I have brittle pages from the books that I use. On this page, I created a belly band um, with some old ledger paper and decorative paper. And then in there, I tucked an antique postcard of mine. And this is from 1907. Shorthand paper. And this is botanical that I printed on vellum. Here's a shallow tuck spot. You could stick something up in there. And then on this page, I clipped in, this is from Rachel's Paris kit. I just made a smallish envelope from that, a map in the back. And in there I tucked a journaling card. This is the other side of the book page from this book. There you can see the copy, copyright 1906. Here I have a tag that I created and then another vintage playing card that I altered. Love these bird pages. This is the other side of that flip out. This is uh, a wallpaper. I think it's actually, this one's from actually uh, from Tailor Me Journals, um, but it's printed on vellum and that flips up and you can do some writing under there. And up here I used a, a piece of um, book binding that I stitched on. Did some stenciling on this page. And that's the end of that one. So thank you for coming along with me today. Um, not sure what I'll be bringing back next. I have one custom order that I'm working on right now. So that's probably what you'll see come out next. And after that, I don't know, I maybe do some baby books or something like that. So thank you. And until next time, take care and bye bye.